Jeremy Corbyn. Wow. Uh, it was very sticky for him, wasn't it? So six members gone, left him, and others just refusing well, to accept the, his point. There of were absence. 90 MPs did not support him yesterday. Mm. That's the biggest rebellion since he became Labour leader. And with the six resignations, more than 100 MPs have now quit his leadership. And you know, it's going to be tricky for him yeah. to make his MPs loyally back him because when he was a backbencher, <laughs> he was the most disloyal to every <laughs> single leader, Brown, Blair, the lot. Kevin, explain mm. to our viewers and frankly to the rest of us the specifics of the amendment. Yeah. At Corbyn, Jeremy Corbyn wanted his front bench to abstain right. from this amendment, but actually it's a point of principle over the single market. Mm. It is. And freedom of movement. Yeah, it so was... why did he get them to abstain rather than direct them how to vote? It, because that would have made it clear. Yeah, he it? wanted them to abstain because he has his own idea of trying to get very close to the single market and he wanted Labour MPs to back his idea with Keir Starmer, the shadow Brexit secretary. However, the Norway option, as it's called, joining yeah. the economic, uh, European economic area, which is you're in, the si you're in the single market, you're not in the customs union, you're in the single market. A lot of MPs wanted to back that. So he had 75 of his MPs voting to have the Norway option. Then he had another 15 voting against it. And then he had others who mm. did follow it and abstain. But there's more than a third of his MPs defied his leadership yeah. on that. And the six resignations, one was a uh, shadow from bencher. The other five were parliamentary private secretaries, effectively bag carriers, but they're part of the Labour machine. Is and it partly because people aren't exactly clear um, what Jeremy Corbyn's position is still? Well, so therefore, well, they end up going back yeah, frankly, to voting it, it, on their own. It thing. changes by the yeah. week, and that is not an exaggeration. It changes all the time, and we're not sure what it means. But if that... Well, he wants to stay... Close yes, to the single market yeah. and, and have a customs union. And he wants to but he doesn't on his own terms. want freedom, total Free movement freedom of, of movement. Exactly. Jeremy... And yet those Labour MPs who back that amendment, yes, say the 75, want to continue with free movement of people because they think the migration is not a problem. It was with voters and it would be no, a no, betrayal of voters. Labour, Labour, Jeremy Corbyn accepts the end of free movement when we come, when we come out within Europe. Mm. But his oh, position okay. is nearer Theresa May's than he would like to let on. Labour is probably as, as, as clued up on how it would get what it wants as the government, which doesn't know anything. Well, and trying, to, trying to limit freedom of movement was one of the things, presumably, David Cameron was trying to negotiate with the EU. The EU have said you are not... Is, whatever happens, yeah, the EU yeah. has been very clear. It's not even what up for negotiation. What they call, you accept yeah, movement it, of people. Free movement people is what they call one of the four central pillars mm. of membership of the European Union. But there, it's non-negotiable, which there is are, why we're going. There are some limits now, for instance... A, a murderer couldn't come into Britain. You can, oh, you can turn them away. No, if you come for, if you move for a job and you don't get a job within three months, you can be asked to leave. Mm. And of course, that's always ignored and it's forgotten. There's no benefit tourism as as such, but you're not going to get big changes. Although, meanwhile, mm -hmm. yeah, Sajid Javed, we're expected to hear, is going to announce a big Im Im uh, overhaul of immigration, increasing the numbers of skilled migrants to be allowed in. We're talking about... From doctors. outside of the EU. Yes, yeah. exactly. From all So lifting that up, a big change to what Theresa May has always said. Ab absolutely. And she apparently has said, OK. Ab absolutely. Well, he's, it, Sajid Javed is, uh, is really um, insulting in some ways the policies of his uh, predecessor, but one, Theresa May, because mm. she wanted to bring down uh, net migration below 100,000. He's saying, hang on, we need skilled people coming from around the world. These are called tier two people. They're doctors. Mm -hmm. They are IT specialists. There's a cap of 20,000 a year. He wants to bring in up to 28,000 a year because there are lots of, lots of shortages now. Because we were turning people yeah. away. Yeah, people we need. Now, the, the truth is it also reveals that actually with a 95% of uh, the world outside of our 27 European uh, neighbours, we have migration controls. This idea it was always a free fall, mm -hmm. which you sometimes suggest, is absolute nonsense. It's Some not people you would think, oh, hang on controls. a minute, we are trying to restrict, and one of the Cut. reasons why you might have voted for Brexit, people are coming yeah. in, and actually what we've got is the same government that's delivering that Brexit is now opening the yeah, doors but, elsewhere. But, but, People but, will be very I confused. I think it's sensible if you're bringing in doctors because, sadly, we're not training enough of our own doctors. I wish we would train more. Then we don't need doctors coming in from India. But in the short term, you do. But still, the issue hasn't changed. Migration to this country is too high. Quarter million coming in. We don't need quarter million. We haven't According got room the Home for Secretary, them. it's not high enough. No, no. He's it's about to accept no, no. it. He's talking about 8,000 highly yes. specialised doctors and that's, IT that's people. That's what he 
don't, what we don't want is 200,000 people coming in from the EU working in hotels and pubs. We don't need them. No, yes, well, we let's do. hope that no, there's lots of people who are in those jobs. Yeah, you know yeah. what? What I, what I love, a one time you'll say unemployment's never been lower, yeah, employment's never been higher, and yet all these migrants are coming over and taking all our jobs. You can't have it both ways. Imagine how much lower if we didn't have all this migration.